Hi guys, good to see y'all. Hope you are doing well on this uh, Tuesday evening, June the 9th. Well, it's good to uh, wrap our day up just like this. It's, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's easy to get out of habit. If we don't do it five days a week, it's easy to almost forget that, hey, it's 8.30 on Tuesday. We better, we better uh, gather together. So, um, I want to encourage you to keep finding opportunities. Um, even if we don't meet like this, find those opportunities to have some quiet time, to have those moments where you let out a couple deep breaths and, and just let the uh, uh, let the water run off your back, let the stress get out of your hair. Uh, relax. Uh, remember the victories that God gave you throughout the day. Uh, remember to praise Him and rejoice. Uh, I'm getting ready to share the video. I would encourage you to do if, if you would as well. <clears throat> Just hop on and do a quick share. Whoop, there it is. Turn the volume down. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, I encourage you, uh, even if we don't meet just like this, take these opportunities in the evening time um, to do what we've been doing. Take some breaths. Uh, maybe read some scripture. Uh, instead of just getting sucked in and surfing the internet about all that's going on and all the negative, because I mean, the news is so full of negative, maybe you take a minute or two and search for good things that are happening. Uh, look at what God is doing. So uh, find those opportunities. Um, good to be with you tonight. We, uh, I, went to, I was in the office earlier today and uh, taking care of some work and some stuff there and and then came home <clears throat> early early afternoon. Uh, everybody got ready, and we went back out and decided to make a quick trip to Disney Springs. Uh, outside of church, <laughs> so outside of Sunday church, this was the first time that we've, as a family, we've gone anywhere together. We've been to the church building. We've gone through a couple drive throughs uh, We've been to the store where we've parked at the store, and I've run in really quick. Um, but this is the first time that we went as a whole entire family, um, all eight of us somewhere. And we went to Disney Springs. Uh, they're open. Um, you know, the, their process is you park and, and you, uh, they only have, uh, certain parking areas open. They corral you, funnel you through, uh, an area where they make sure that you have a mask on and they check your temperature before they allow you in. Uh, and let me tell you. Uh, it was a good test uh, to see how our kids would do, and I'm just going to tell you that we we wouldn't do that great. <laughs> was, yeah, we can. I don't want to say fail because fails can be a negative word, but we didn't do very good. Um, we actually got called. Yeah, we got called out uh, by a Disney employee saying you need to wear your masks at all times. So, but to the kids, uh, to to the kids' benefit. It was warm, it was humid, uh, and it's hard to breathe those things on and when you're walking around and this and that. So, so we didn't linger too long. Um, we saw some things, got out, uh, took our mask off now and then to, to breathe and get some fresh air, and, and then <clears throat> uh, right back in the van and headed home. And we just had finished up a great meal. We had uh, Angela made chicken parmesan. This is a, a great, great meal that she makes and love it everybody eats it you know when you have six children there's going to be picky ones but uh, everybody eats it so it was a good time uh, but I encourage you to f continue to find opportunities uh, even if we don't meet like this I encourage you to find those opportunities uh, to thank God for good things even big or small it doesn't matter because when we begin to focus our praise and efforts on him the junk that we deal with seems to melt away a whole lot easier. And like I talked about, taking those deep breaths and kind of letting the stress roll off your back, that happens easier when our focus is on him instead of carrying that stress with us. So we're going to do just that in a couple of minutes. Um, and I want you to take, those, take this time tonight uh, to begin to thank and praise God for what he is doing. Because there are some awesome things that he is up to. Uh, thank him, praise him, give him honor and glory. Uh, and we're going to recite, we're going to say the Lord's Prayer together. We're going to pray the way he taught us to pray. 
And after that, we'll give you a blessing and wish you good night. Um, I want to remind you tomorrow, Wednesday, we will have our Zoom Bible study at 630. Uh, <clears throat> Uh-oh. We get disconnected. Are we still on? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe we're still on. Okay. Check one, two. I think we're still on. Okay. Yeah, you're good. All right. Sorry, I had this notification pop up and it said disconnected and, and there was red flashing stuff. So <laughs> that causes me for concern. We'll join tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes. We'll join tomorrow at 6.30. Um, what can you do? Six kids, right? Four of them are boys. That's all right. Uh, we'll join tomorrow, 6.30 p.m. If you are not a part of our Zoom Bible study and you want to be, you do not have to speak up. You can just sit and watch and listen. Uh, we do have a, a conversational style Bible study. We walk through it. We give you some history. We look in depth at what we're doing. And we're studying the book of Revelation. So I encourage you to, if, if you haven't been joining us, hi, buddy. Go see mama. Oh, all right. Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> I encourage you to dig in with us uh, with every Wednesday, 630. If you are not on our email list or part of the group that you and you would like to be, let me know. Send me a message on here. Uh, let me know, and I will make sure that we add your email uh, to the, the blast that goes out so you can get the, uh, the information, the, the Zoom credentials, so you can log in and be with us. Um, and we can email you the study so you can follow along and all that as well. Um, but that's a great time uh, to, to be together, to dig into his word, um, and it's a good time of fellowship as well. So that's tomorrow uh, at 6.30. And then again Thursday we'll do our thing here, uh, 8.30 in the morning and 8.30 at night. And then we'll gather again Sunday morning for worship. Um, and uh, we're going to begin to relax a few things a little bit. Um, as, as we progress and we see kind of how stuff is working at the building, uh, we're going to trust in you uh, that uh, you will uh, take care of what needs to be taken care of. Uh, I don't feel the need uh, and we don't feel the need to, to police you or, or to corral you. Um, you are adults and so we want to encourage you to, uh, to do what you think is best um, and to follow all that along. And then... Um, um, the following week uh, will be Father's Day, and Pastor Missy will be preaching on Father's Day, and she's going to have a great, uh, a great message for y'all, and the kids will have a, an area to participate, um, uh, and they're working on that right now. So uh, we're looking forward to some great days coming up, and uh, God's doing some awesome, awesome stuff. So I encourage you, be a part. Be a part. If you want to come in person on Sunday, that's fantastic. Be a part. If you still feel like you need to stay at home, that's okay too. We're still going to worship online with you. Uh, and we are still one body. All right, guys. Well, let's take some moments and uh, do what we've talked about. Take some deep breaths and uh, relax. Uh, listen to him. Um, praise him. Give him honor and glory and thanks. And then we will, in just a minute, recite the Lord's Prayer as one. And then we'll have our nighttime blessing. All right, guys. We'll see you back in just a minute. All right, as we gather back together, I've got my little friend here with me, little Oliver Longbottom. He's, uh, he was terrorizing the mama, making messes. 
which is not good for a little pup, but we're we're working on training them. Well, as we gather back together, I want to uh, uh, remind you of the stuff that we've talked about when we said the Lord's Prayer and why we do all this. I think that one of the greatest things that reminds us who we're a part of, when we pray to our Father, what a great family we get to be a part of. And so let's say that prayer the way Jesus taught his disciples to pray, trusting in who he is and the power that he has. Let's pray as one. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen and amen. Well, it's a blessing to be with you. I hope you've had a a blessed day. I hope you were productive productive today and uh, successful in all that you did. If not, that's okay. Tomorrow's another day. And I encourage you to give, give everything back to him, for it's all his. Well, may God bless you tonight. May he give you rest and relaxation. May, he, may your body be rejuvenated. May your mind be restored. And may your heart be filled. You guys, love you all. Appreciate you. Hope you have a blessed evening. Can't wait to gather again. We'll be tomorrow at 6.30 for our Zoom Bible study again. If you haven't joined us before, message me. Let us know. Send me your email. We'll make sure that you're a part. And then we'll see you again Thursday and then again on Sunday. Many blessings. Have a great night.